What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode uh, 19. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Oh, hello. What the hell? Are you V? Please step in the vehicle. What? Okay. I don't like you. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. Oh, God. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Hello. Perales. <laughs> the one running for mayor of Night City. The one. So, the one who is DA until recently but just vaulted into a seat on the city council. I gather you now understand why discretion is of the utmost importance. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales. Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. It was all over the news. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. As far as I remember, someone tried to zero Ryan a few days before his death. The NCPD sees no link. They're saying it was a random cyber-psycho attack. And claiming the mayor died of natural causes. Causes unrelated to the attack. It's in the official reports. Ryan died at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. Hmm. 
These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. <laughs> if Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. Hmm. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any yeah. case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. <laughs> Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Let's make it peachy. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race? Cause any inner synapse apps? 
Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. Woman, woman, woman. Yes, of course. Good. Left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned, like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. All right, I won't. Hold it! Stop right there. So you have NCPD. Please, limit support. That's your point. Better. Our friends. Dream, do it after the conference. The tune, don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Conference. They're fine. after the conference. Half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch is no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night, and it turns out they're both sisters of God. <laughs> that really happened to you? Nah, but it could've. <laughs> oh, well, well. thoughts did you uh, see anything suspicious anything at all or are we paranoid so why the fuck am I 
Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Conference. Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop in Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. <laughs> Sorry, drop. Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. Stats for that part of town stopped counting. What? <laughs> Clever. Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. <laughs> Running in Ryan's place. <clears throat> Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Sorry. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD? No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Sheesh. What a great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. I wanna get in. I wanna get in. Ah, shit! into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Now that you best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, stat. What?
Someone here to see you, looks like. Huh. Wonder what about. Wanted to talk. You got a minute? You must be V. My partner, Detective Hahn. Hello. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to meet. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Foss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. See me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner. Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to them. What was it? Let me ask you a question first. Why do you got your nose in this? Who hired you? Sorry. Never give up the names of my clients. Well then, I'm sure you've got plenty of other leads besides me. I mean, I sure hope so, because I'm not telling you a thing. And I'm not being mean or nosy, nor is it personal. Just covering my own ass. My own safety's at stake, too. <sighs> so, before I open my mouth, I need to know whose ears are listening. Liz Perales hired me, and her husband, Jefferson. The presumed future mayor. <laughs> Guess I could have seen that coming. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure. Where'd my fucking motorcycle go? Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Hmm. So you saw him as a potential threat, decided to warn the mayor. Just like that. Because you got a good heart. Make it sound like that's something to be ashamed of. Ashamed? Nah. Just not something you see every day. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Perales could just be scared. Doesn't want the job of a guy who just got carried out feet first? <laughs> who would? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? No, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard, it's some fancy-ass club. No idea where to even look for it. 
See, I might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. <laughs> Sorry. We? Can't shake this case. Something's up. Just look how quickly it was closed. This way, you can get your job done, while I find evidence that gets my chief to reopen the case. Win-win. So, where to first? Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me. Damn, his jacket's clean as fuck, boy. My guy works here. You go talk to him. I'll wait outside. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Who is this guy? The proud proprietor. He's got all sorts of clients, and he's nosy as hell. So he knows all about everyone. Plus, he's a coward. Perfect combo. Huh. He's your CI. He doesn't know me. Well, uh... Last we met, it didn't go so well for him. People he ratted out got wind of it. Uh -oh. I think you got a better chance of getting him to talk without me. At least voluntarily. All right. Wait here, then. Let's do the damn thing. <clears throat> oh, isn't it cute? You looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Because I can help with both. Igor says hi. Fuck no! Said I was done. I was out. Send the word space to seven two nine. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Nothing to see here, sir. Come on, ghost, I said. Leave me alone, got it? Can't make me do a damn thing. Let's move. Let's Rest go. assured, nobody will find out you talk to us. And this will truly be the last time Detective Ward will visit you. Isn't that right, Detective? Right. I swear it on the spirits of my ancestors. All we want is the courts for Red Queen's race. All right, but this is the last time, for real. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. 
We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. The club's empty. He shut it all down. Shut it down? Before or after Mayor Rhine died? Uh, soon after, I guess. Thanks, Neil. My shit luck! Well, well. That's what I call a breakthrough. Seems promising, but I'd still hit that market. Market? Horvath's employer, one I mentioned before. I just wouldn't let that lead drop. Okay. Let's go see this market of yours. We gonna take my car? Sure. Thanks. Hell yeah, brother. Dude, it's raining his ass off here. A good 90% of any detective's job is talking. But you know that already. Must say, you're kinda natural. Thanks. And the other 10%, what's it consist of? Writing reports. So, who are we supposed to talk to? CyberCycle's boss, you said? Christine Markov, 42. File has her as Horvath's sole employer. Sole contact, too, actually. Come on, V. Well, that's ought to be good. No idea who we're looking for. Gonna have to ask around. I'll start from the left, you take the right. Alright. Hey, baby. She don't look her. Christine Markov, know her? Has a stall here. Don't know any Christine. Christine this Markov. isn't BD Heads Anonymous. Alright, what F you then? Christine Markov, we have some questions. You badges? Looking for data on Pater Horvath. Worked here, apparently. Yeah, he did. Then he stopped working, started making fucking speeches all the time. When the weird behavior actually start? When you're talking about Pater, weird doesn't mean what it means for everybody else. Horvath never was completely normal. 
for the post-Jail Horvath versus the pre-Jail Horvath? Gonks both, but completely different gonks. Hmm. Horvath make good scratch here. Could have bought this whole market with the chrome he was packing. <laughs> oh yeah, made scads on scads here. <laughs> Motherfucking millionaire, like we all are. So where do you get the eddies? Know anything? Look, if I knew, I wouldn't be here selling scop to tower trash. I'd get myself an AV, fly my fucking slim ass out of here. <laughs> Peter showed up one day with all that. Extra worked up, too. Whacked enough that I asked him where he got it. He said somebody finally seen what he was worth. And then he launched right into one of his tirades. These, uh, speeches, what did he have to say? Ryan, a corpse got him by the balls and cock, but he still managed to fuck me. His motto. Why'd he have it in for the mayor? Ha! <laughs> Looking for reason in that whack job? Probably thought Ryan was talking to him through the TV, promising all sorts of shit, then ceasing to give a fuck. Look, I told you what I think. In Horvath's world, everybody was out to get him. Lucius Ryan was out to fuck him, then get him. So as Horvath saw it, who else had it in for? Besides Ryan, a madam president mostly. Then Arasaka, the Giza, and when he died, it was a sunstorm. Would that be all, detectives? You're spooking my clientele. Somebody'd finally seen what he was worth. Orvath had sponsors. We might have guessed as much. Might seem like we didn't get a lot out of that. But sometimes intel makes sense once you've got some context. Say, for instance, somebody says they got a headache. Minor detail. Means nothing, right? Usually, sure. But then the guy waltzes straight into oncoming traffic. A neighbor remembers someone had worked on the air conditioner in the guy's unit. The guy whose head always hurt. Accident? Coincidence? Or maybe air-dispersed poison? A deliberate hit. You actually caught a case like that? No. Made it up. Still proves my point. Oh, great. Let me handle this, V. Step aside, Lug. Your boyfriend got sent up for years. Doubt you want the same. Right. You did lose your only associate who could string two sentences together. Too bad he also liked diddling little kids. Here's my offer. Get the fuck out of here, and I won't arrest you as accessories in the murder of Mayor Ryan. Now wash your fucking wheels, you pig. Walking the streets with you? Downright unsafe. Got <laughs> beef with all gangs or just the tigers? I'm a cop. What do you think? <laughs> Good thing nobody got killed. A little less paperwork. Okay. Red Queen's race now. Gonna ride with me? Sure, I'll ride with you. I fought the law and the law one. I fought the law and the law It's music, bro. Come on, V. This is animal turf. I can see that. Lock up any of theirs recently? Not lately, no. But they're not big fans of pigs, either. I can't go in without a warrant. For you. Uh-huh. All right. Be in touch.
You find anything, tell me. Well, this ought to be fucking fun. Shit kicking pack or what? 
Got spotted. Okay. Hang on. Be right there. I'm getting too old for this. doesn't tend to lie. Too scared. So the club's around here somewhere. In the garage is my guess. me
How did I know? Look at that. Nice. Someone really wanted to cover up whatever it was that went down. What should we be looking for? Let's try it. Shit on fire. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's see. What they're doing. I got to do the talking. You're the detective. But I don't have a, a warrant, right? What? Lucius Ryan, recently deceased mayor of Night City. He was here the night he died. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. No fucking idea. But hey, you might be here the day you die. Joking. <laughs> Why are you watching this dump? Nothing left to clip here. We ain't watching it for fucking waiting! For what? Till they send us the scrap for a job well done! Smashed it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? We done our bit! Time for the payout! Who'd you smash it up for? Uh, what's it to you? I uh, might be able to speed up your payment. The fuck I look like to you? Someone who'd swallow scop like that? I want to buy this dump, turn it into something real elegant and preem. A little hard with you sitting here, though, isn't it? So I wouldn't mind speeding your transaction on its way. First, though, gotta know who owes you. Well, did hold! Lucius Ryan's right-hand bull terrier. Candidate for mayor in the upcoming election. Right fucking for the job! Thanks for the help. This is awkward. <clears throat> Good morning. 
Well, everybody, <clears throat> I appreciate everybody helping or helping. I appreciate everybody coming by and uh, peace out.